Hi guys, welcome to Sweezy by Sandy. I'm Sandy and today we are making a simple pillow cover, you know, using what is my absolutely favorite fabric ever. This mandala fabric right here. Now this will be a piped pillow cover and I know that for some beginners that rings all sorts of alarms. It's scary, it's intimidating, well, I'm here to tell you, it really doesn't have to be. And let's face it, you know, it just makes such a huge difference in the end result. You know, a piped pillow cover is just a step above the rest. It's that simple and so worth the trouble. Let me show you how I do it. And it is by far, in my opinion, the easiest and simplest way to do it. You know, no filling, no special sewing feet, you know, nothing too complicated that may ruin this experience for you. Let me show you. Now, this is my fabric, as I've shown you. It is a mandala fabric. It is very gorgeous. And and I've used it before for my meditation cushion or my zafu or my cat pillow, whatever you'd like to call it. And if you haven't watched that video, I will link it to at the end of this video, okay? Here it is, our 20 by 20 inch pillow cover top. Very colorful, very busy. I have also already cut the back. You know, for an envelope pillow cover, we'll need two pieces for the back. One 20 by 15 or so inches and another 20 by 10 or so because we want them to overlap comfortably. You know, there's nothing worse than a pillow cover opened in the back. This is for a 20 by 20 insert, but as you can see, I am making this 20 by 20, you know, no seam allowance. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I like my pillows to look stuffed. <laughs> You know, to me, there is nothing worse than a half-empty pillow, you know what I mean? When you have a pillow and there's all this excess fabric because the insert just doesn't fill it out, I like a pillow to be nice and stuffed and full. That's gorgeous to me. Okay, I've also cut our piping fabric, which is this light green polka dot fabric, about 85 or maybe 90 inches to it. It's about one and a half inch wide. And of course, we'll also need some piping cord and you can use cord as thick or as thin as you like. You know, mine is about three millimeters or 0 0.11 inches or so. You'll place the cord inside the piping fabric like so, leaving a small fabric margin before the cord begins. And then you just place the fabric with the cord inside, of course, on one side of the cover fabric. And then you begin to sew it onto the cover. Don't start at a corner, okay? Start at the middle of one of the sides to make things easier for you. You know, I know some people sew the cord onto the piping fabric before adding it to the pillow cover and you can do that too, of course, but I find that it's just an extra step I don't really need. Okay, now the corners, I admit, are a little tricky. You know, you need to do them very carefully because if not, you won't have that nice sharp turn. Well, it's more of a curve, really. It's never really sharp because the cord just doesn't bend, right? <laughs> what you can do is stop sewing just before getting to the curve and cut the fabric in three parts, you know, before the curve, inside the curve, and after the curve, so that the fabric will settle down before you continue sewing. Personally, I prefer to make the little cuts after I've sewn the corner to make sure that when I cut, it is exactly in the right place. But it will make life easier for you if you do it before. What I do is I sew right into the corner, then stop, turn the fabric around, and continue to sew just like so making sure to make it as crisp and as near to the cord inside the fabric as I possibly can. And you can use a tool to help you keep the curvy fabric down, you know, if you're not going to make the three cuts I mentioned, and I use my trusted seam reaper. And of course, you can also pin the piping fabric to the pillow cover before sewing if you feel more comfortable with that. You know, no problem whatsoever. Whatever works for you is fine, but I'm lazy and like to save time. <laughs> Okay, then we just keep going, you know, until we go back to the start. Then we stop sewing about one or two inches before reaching the other end of the piping. Now, we extend the cord up to the point where it starts, really, <laughs> and just cut the excess. Now, just the cord, not the fabric, okay? Because for the fabric, we need a little bit of a seam allowance to sew the two ends together. So you'll need to make it a bit longer in order to overlap with the other end of your fabric, like so, okay? Okay, now we join the two ends together and we sew them. After that, we straighten our piping and we finish sewing it onto the pillow cover, joining the two ends of the cord inside of it. Now, as I've told you, I will be cutting the piping corners to smooth that fabric down because we don't want any bulks at the corners of our pillow cover, do we? 
Be careful not to cut into the pocket of the fabric where the cord is, you know, we're just cutting the seam allowance. Here we have it, our pillow top. Now let's take care of the back, shall we? First, we need to make a seam on each border of the two pieces of the back. You know, we just fold the fabric twice, pin it, and sew. Easy peasy. Now that sewn end will be the one that is shown once the pillow cover is finished, of course. The other sides will be hidden. Not only will it make it look good, it will also keep it from fraying over time, of course. Now the larger piece is the first one to be laid down because it's the one we want to show more of the two. And then comes the smaller piece. Now we pin it all together, right sides together of course, and we're almost there guys! Here's one of the biggest struggles people have with piping pillow covers, which is to sew all the parts together and make sure that you do not sew over the cord or under sew, you know, leave exposed seam allowance. Here's how you do it. You sew over the original seam. Meaning, you sew over the seam you created when you first added the piping to the pillow top. That way you can be absolutely sure that you will sew exactly where you need to be sewing. No more, no less. After that, we just cut our corners like so. Next, turning our pillow cover inside out to see our beautiful piped pillow cover. Man, look at those nice tight corners. I am so proud of this. <laughs> and there you have it guys, our lovely piped pillow cover, <laughs> looking lovely and colorful. Tell me, was it as hard as you thought it was? I hope not. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for doing this with me. I really do appreciate your company and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.